The past decade has been fraught with a lot of unrest. Natural disasters, pandemics, and growing signs of war keep insinuating the fact that the end times are upon us. Historically, it's not uncommon for people to seek a deeper meaning to these events or cling even tighter to religious accounts for an understanding of these trying times. In light of this, there's been information on the internet recently about a young rabbi who some claim has been appointed and accepted as the new Messiah by the older rabbis and the Orthodox Jewish society in Israel. He has even been tagged as a Messiah by throngs of religious people. However, his every move has also sparked a lot of controversies, and in this video, we will look at religious texts that will reveal shocking truths that show he might be a false prophet. The young rabbi in question is named Shlomo Yehuda Bieri, and he is honored with the title Yanaka in relation to his mastery of the religious texts. Theologically, the idea of the Son of God personified in the persona of a kid or youngster is closely related to the Zoharic Yanaka figure. So because Yehuda was able to recite the heart of the Torah and other sacred Jewish religious texts from an early age, he was likely supposed to invoke the figure of Jesus in various ways given his discursive and symbolic contexts in which the Yanaka functions. At just a little over 30, Yehuda has demonstrated astounding knowledge of the Torah, the Talmud, the Zohar, the Ari, and numerous more works by Zadik. He provides precise page and paragraph references during his presentations. He is allegedly also very humble, and there are several unverified accounts of the wonders he performs with his blessings. However, speculations of him being the Messiah began when a video on the Punta Breslev channel purported that the coronavirus pandemic heralded the coming of the Messiah. The host of Punta Breslev then played a film of Rabbi Shlomo Yehuda visiting the Western Wall to highlight the current religious zeal sweeping most of Israel. Some Christian viewers believed that Shlomo Yehuda was being anointed as the Messiah because of the theme of the episode and the pictures of him being lauded by senior rabbis. However, the individuals who made this assumption later produced videos in which they explained what they believed the video's creator meant. The Punto Breslev segment expanded on how King Hezekiah, son of David, is revered in Orthodox Judaism as the ideal messianic candidate. But once more, some Christian viewers misunderstood and associated the name with Shlomo Yehuda. As previously mentioned, he was given the title of Yanaka for his prodigious exploits since he was a child. And whilst the title may not be commonly bestowed, it doesn't quite qualify someone as the Messiah. Plus, the assertion that Yehuda is the Messiah chosen by the Orthodox Jewish community is challenged by the fact that not even Orthodox Jews news outlets, who would be more eager to cover the subject than their Christian counterparts, have come forward to claim so. And while one might wonder what made the older rabbi swoon for him, well, he is after all also a well-known rabbi and a brilliant prodigy. Orthodox Jews frequently kiss the hand of a teacher or colleague rabbi who they admire and show difference to, including senior rabbis. And Shlomo Yehuda is highly regarded among individuals who were shown into the Punta Breslev video clip. The clincher occurred when the Punto Breslev host clarified the confusion in an English language video, emphasizing that neither he nor any other rabbi was proclaiming Shlomo Yehuda Beri to be the Messiah. And thus, investigations regarding the video showing him at the Western Wall began and it came to light that it was shot at the yearly ceremony that kicks off the counting of the Omer during the week leading up to Passover. The holy location was crowded because of this and Rabbi Shlomo Yehuda was not the focus of any special celebration. To get a clearer understanding of the Bible's description of the one true Messiah, we look to the Old Testament prophecies as we can see from a comparison of them to the New Testament that Jesus Christ, who was born of a virgin and is the biological son of King David of Israel, is the real Messiah. The writings of the Bible claim that Jesse, the father of David, 
was the biological ancestor of the Messiah. The biblical book of Acts, verse 13, confirms that Jesus is descended from David's father, whereas Luke 3 links Jesus' biological ancestry to David and Jesse. The texts further say that the Messiah will exercise authority through the Holy Spirit as according to the Gospel of John. Jesus performed his earthly ministry through the power of the Holy Spirit. The biblical book of Isaiah, verse 11, chapter 4, then goes on to state that intense judgment will characterize Messiah's governmental authority. When the book of Revelations, verse 19, chapter 20, further integrates that the Antichrist will be banished into the lake of fire for all eternity when Jesus comes back, where he will endure day and night agony. According to more biblical texts, during the rule of a genuine Messiah, animals will once again be entirely domesticated. The only person who has been able to do this so far in recorded history has been Jesus. It occurred when Jesus instructed the apostles to get a wild, unbroken donkey before he made his triumphal entry into Jerusalem. He rode the animal without incident from the eastern side of the Mount of Olives up and over the Mount of Olives, through the Kidron Valley, up the opposite side, and into Jerusalem. He immediately altered the animal's nature, displaying his ability to tame all creatures when he is in control. These accounts from the Bible speak of the Messiah's lineage authority, and even power of wild animals, as they are made to tame, all of which have clearly been shown not to correlate with Shlomo Yehuda, thus disclaiming the rumors of him being the Messiah. In addition to describing the Messiah, the Bible further warns about a false prophet that will rise and seek to lead Christians astray. It is also predicted that millions of people will be duped by a fake prophet who performs impressive miracles. Jesus also particularly cautioned his followers to be on the lookout for a monstrosity of desolation in the last days. And as stated in the letters to the Thessalonians, the great false prophet who would stand in the holy places is foreseen by the Apostle Paul. Thus, the Apostle admonishes Christians to not be fooled by anybody, for that day will not come unless the falling away occurs and the man of sin the son of perdition, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, sits as God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. According to Revelation chapter 13, verses 13 through 14, the great false prophet will deceive millions of people throughout the world and perform tremendous wonders, including calling down fire from heaven but asks that Christians not let these miracles and signs fool them. Thessalonians verse 5 chapter 21 goes further to support this point, stating that we test all things, holding fast to what is good, as the Bible commands. From all that, as is said, it can be noted that for there to be sacrifices to be stopped, it must first start and the Jews have not made any animal sacrifices since 70 AD after the Romans destroyed the temple in Jerusalem. It is also of great significance to know that there are five red heifers present in Israel currently, and they are getting ready for sacrifices in the temple, which line up with the prophecies Jesus spoke about. Seeing as these events are all occurring in this period and around one man, it is understandable why Shlomo Yehuda Bieri is associated by most with being the likely Messiah of today's age. The behavior of people and rabbis around him, though not factual, seems to do nothing but push the narrative. It is seen in the fact that people who Shlomo has performed miracles on do not attribute their healing to God, but instead give credit to him. This kind of behavior and turn of events thus paints him as the speculated false prophet warned of in the Bible. Though likely in significance, some people have drawn attention to his ability to play music, which is likened to Satan's ability to play musical instruments in his creation or the worship of God. Others speculate that he might embody either side of the Messiah's characteristics, which could be the priestly side which embodies authority. This group of people believe in two messiahs. They believe Jesus fulfilled the first, but they reject God's whole message and turn to Talmud, Kabbalah, 
and other man-made traditions instead. Therefore, they anticipate both a religious and a militaristic messiah and think Shlomo Yehuda could be either. However, the assumption is that all of this is inaccurate without consulting the Bible. But it's understandable considering that Jesus warned in Matthew chapter 24, verse 4, that even the elect would be deceived by those who came in His name and claimed to be the Messiah. This may appear to be a minor issue, but misguided information does nothing but spread hatred toward the Jewish people through rumors. It also deceives many believers with false signs of the times during the very season in which we remember the victims of the Holocaust, and at the same time that Jesus rose from the dead and was walking, talking, eating, fellowshipping with His disciples, and performing signs and wonders before His ascension. In light of all this, Christian leaders urged Christians to pray for the removal of the spirit of deception from the body of Messiah and for the Word of God to become so deeply ingrained in them that when the Holy Spirit guides, they can easily determine whether or not a rumor or assumption is in line with the Scripture and whether or not they are acting as Jesus' ambassadors. However, despite the fact information about Shlomo Yehuda being called the Messiah turned out to be inaccurate and the man proves to be yet another false Messiah, some are still going as far as to claim that he is the Antichrist and that the time for the tribulations has already arrived. Could the time of false prophecy be upon us with the advent of Shlomo Yehuda? Let us know your opinions in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like and share it with your friends. Plus, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more and click the bell icon so you get notified whenever we post a new video.